you know what? Mental health is mental and emotional health are key. I'm gonna I'm gonna put both of those in the same category. And I would say what I've learned over my career is finding balance, finding balance in the enjoyment, finding balance in off week. It's so easy to sort of get in the cycle in the circus of playing week in and week out. And it's, if you lose, it's like, I have a better chance next week. If you win, you want to keep the momentum and you almost get caught in that cycle. And tennis is a sport that just runs from January to November. You don't really have an off season. So I would say one of the biggest things for me was really learning to rest, learning to pick my weeks off, fully enjoy my weeks off. And I'm saying like real rest days, not like fake rest, travel days don't count as rest days. Like, come on, I know all you, y'all are counting those as rest days. They're not rest days. And giving myself a chance to recover and not just physically, because a lot of times that's where we're gauging, but like mentally and emotionally, like unplugging, going somewhere just because it's fun. I mean, so many times I'm only traveling with my rackets. And the first few times I went without, I was like, I didn't even know what to do with myself. And I think that's important. I, you know, it's helped me extend my career and it's helped me enjoy the cities that I've gone to. I remember when I was first coming on tour and I was chatting with some of the women that were retiring. And one of the things that they regret was not enjoying the cities while they were, while they were playing. Like so many of them, we travel the world and some of them were retiring, not going in the Eiffel Tower, not taking time to take pictures and walk around Rome and see the fountain. And so for me, I've really made it a point, especially the last few years of my career, to not only work hard, but play hard, enjoy the cities and take time to rest. Travel days don't count as rest days.